Hello everyone, Winston from iPhoneism.com and today we are going to teach you how to jailbreak iOS firmware using the latest Red Snow 0.9.9 Beta 1 which was released yesterday and the very good thing about this Red Snow release is that it does not require you to manually download the IPSW file of the iOS firmware that you want to jailbreak and it does not even require you to manually point Red Snow to that Somewhere. Right now we have a fourth generation iPod Touch that is running iOS 433 which is not jailbroken. Step 1. Download Red Snow 0.9.1 for your Mac or Windows computer. Download links are given in the description below. Step 2. Launch Red Snow 0.9.9 Beta 1. When you launch it, click on jailbreak. Make sure that your device is both off and plugged in. Just power off the device. Now when you click on next, Retsno will display instructions to put your device into DFU mode. Right, so we are in DFU mode right now. So this latest release of Red Snow will do everything automatically. It will identify what firmware your device is running. Then it would download respective file components from Apple servers and apply whatever jailbreak is compatible with it, be it tethered or untethered. Since iOS 4.3.3 can be jailbroken and tethered, Red Snow will now apply an untethered jailbreak on my fourth generation iPod Touch and will do everything automatically. So as you can see that Red Snow has begun downloading the files. Do keep in mind that once Red Snow downloads the files for your firmware, it won't download them again and will store them if you ever need to run the jailbreak again. At this moment, your device should be showing a blank screen. So now it has given me options. Obviously, install CDR. You can enable battery percentage, and since you can enable multi tasking gestures for iOS 4.3.3, you can select this as well. These options will differ as per your iOS firmware version but you obviously have to install Cydia for the jailbreak. Select these options and click on next. And now it's your standard Red Snow jailbreak procedure. It will update the jailbreak, upload sorry the jailbreak data and will proceed to jailbreak your device. The rest of the procedure gets done on the device. This whole procedure should take up to 10 minutes. There you have it. Retsno has finished jailbreaking iOS 433 on my fourth generation iPod Touch. As you can see, iOS 433, and there you have Cydia. If you like this video, please rate, comment and subscribe to our channel. For all written guides, check the description below for the links. This is Vincent signing off.